Hi guys, how are you today? Chibon here. Today I will show you guys how to easily upgrade RS-97 from factory firmware to retail firmware 1.2. Okay, first thing first, you must go to rs97.bitgala.xyz. Let me show you the default. Okay, just choose the RS-97 firmware. We will pick the retail firmware 1.2. And then you pick the correct firmware. There are many RS-97 type. Just look for the number behind the battery cover. As for me, I have 3.0. Just click here and download it. Don't forget, if you didn't know how to unzip this, just use 7-zip. It is a freeware. You can choose to download yourself. After you download the retail firmware, you must choose to download Balena HR to flash the firmware to the SD card. Balena HR, as you can see, www .io HR, just download it. Uh, you can have the Windows version, Mac OS version, or the Linux version. Uh, you can choose. And lastly, you must download the Partition Wizard free www.partitionwizard.com free partition one just download the free one I already download the whole uh, uh, image and of course the software needed to upgrade it let's start with the upgrade close all that after you run the Balena agent I uh, basically download the portable one so I didn't have to uh, install it <coughs> let's wait as you can see by nature already picked my SD card this is uh, 32 gigabytes SD card this is correct one first we select the image return from where image and just flash it <coughs> Of course, you must say yes. Starting. Now we must wait for the firmware to finish. After you finish the flashing, Windows may ask you to format the disk drive. Okay, just forget. Don't don't format the disk drive because uh, we need uh, the SD card as it is. Uh, Windows ask you to format it because uh, it can recognize the first sector because the first partition we use Linux not uh well as you can see here uh, this this part is a uh, fat 32 but the first partition is not fat 32 as you can see our 32 gigabyte sd card uh, only used for 10.2 megabytes and we only have 650 megabyte free space do not worry uh, that's why we already installed Partition Wizard 11. Let us run Mini Tools Partition Wizard. After you start the Mini Partition Wizard, because it is a freeware version, uh, you might get some add. Just close the end. Choose this and Partition Management. I said no. I close the message. And let's look for the uh, SD card. For me, it is a G drive. As you can see, uh, the the three four prone uh, partition we are using uh, unallocated. Then XT three is a Linux partition and Linux swap. Just leave those. Uh, we will use the unallocated to reclaim it, and we can use the whole thirty two gigabytes SD card. Okay. Just click the G drive for me and you choose resize. Uh, resize the, just use the whole SD card so you can install many games in it. Just pick OK. Click apply. That's it. It will take uh, maybe, well, maybe 10 seconds to finish it. Okay. That's it. 
done. Now you have working SD card. As for me, I have, I will have of course thirty one point four hundred uh, and something something bytes. Uh, well, we call it twenty nine point three gigabytes. That's good. But using the SD card on RS ninety seven, you want to put the emulators, games, ROMs, and of course, if you want, you can put some apps too. Uh, well. Maybe I will cover it on the next video. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys. Bye.